Hey everyone, it's Aaron with Do Good Work. You know, inspiration can come in a lot of different shapes and forms. Um, for me, someone walked in my door about six months ago. Her name is Yvonne. She's a senior graphic design student at Art Center. And there was something about her that really inspired me. Um, I, I saw her work ethic and just her constant pursuit of like juggling a bunch of different plates to sort of try to get through, I guess, her senior year at, at Art Center. And so that inspired me. And I want to share her story with you guys because I think there's something, a really meaningful sort of lesson to be learned. So please join us. So in elementary school, my parents had me explore a bunch of different things such as like dance, math, and there was art. Uh, I played the piano, but the only class that I really wanted to go to was an art class. I didn't know I was born to be a designer, but as I was growing up and going to grade school and middle school, I did do sketches here and there. It was really just like a nugget of like pleasure, I guess, in my time. Like one day it just like pushed me through the door and I was like, I want to go to art school. <laughs> um, all this passion led me to attend Art Center and now I'm a senior here. Uh, there's a lot of things I'm juggling right now in terms of uh, my personal life, my internship here at Farm Design, and my senior project for my graduation show. So my senior project for this graduation show is actually kind of a big deal. It's basically everything that I've learned up to this point and showing the industry professionals what I've got. I hope this is all going to be worth it. For all the graduating students, at the end of the term, we have an industry night where all the industry professionals come and take a look at our work and pretty much interview us on the spot um, while asking about our projects. So for our senior project, we had to present three project ideas. And out of the three that I chose, I chose to rebrand Rolling Greens, which is a plant nursery uh, based in LA. This is an existing brand and I had some visits to the Arts District location. Uh, it was fine, but they don't really gear towards these new plant parents that are going into these plants. The labels, they don't have like the plant name, they don't have plant care, and even asking the employees, some of them don't necessarily know the complete thing. And so I wanted to create a better uh, plant shopping experience. So at Art Center, the first few weeks, we purely do research. We go out, uh, we interview these people um, to get like deeper insights, not only just from secondary research, but we want to hear what people are saying and what they actually feel. And from that, we determine uh, insights to create opportunities. So after the whole research part, um, there are brand attributes that I come up with. And with those brand attributes, I just start sketching. I just keep sketching until I can't sketch anymore, until I have no more ideas. And then, then I take a break and then I go back to, like, I look back at my old sketches and I keep creating more sketches from those sketches. Yeah, so it just, it just gets deeper and deeper. And then afterwards, it's sort of like a choosing process. It's like, okay, does this idea work for actually what I'm going for? Because, right, it's just like idea dumping. You don't think about too much if it's like, if it's going to work or not. You just like jot it down, jot it down, jot it down. So it's getting towards the end of the semester. The, pro uh, the project is progressing, but I'm also balancing like going to the internship and then thinking about industry night. Um, we'd have, we have a personal statement that we have to you know, say to these professionals to talk about who we are and what we do. And then there's also grad show, which is where family and friends come. That's a separate day. And so just a bunch of things to think about and having to sh um, set up the wall, which we have three days to do in the uh, Pasadena Convention Center. As we actually work on our senior project, we're also at the same time planning for a grad show. So the last two or three weeks of my senior project is really just finishing the project and making sure everything is pristine. So the concept is there, all the research is done. Um, it's just flushing out the project in just like complete crank mode. I don't know if it would go here though. I almost wonder if it would be like all like, off or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, try it out. Okay. Name 
Did you plan to show the videos in your three? Oh, three slides. So I actually had to do a storyboard to help me figure out all, what all the components are because it's like the whole experience is for plant shopping is very big. Is there a website? Is there an app? There's just like so many pieces. So I actually had to like go in and sketch out a mini storyboard to make sure I did not miss a single thing. So we're at the Pasadena Convention Center and today is painting day. So Monday is painting day. We're all gonna paint our walls. Really stressed, really tired. I've had three hours of sleep today. Um, Thursday is industry night. I still have to set up on Tuesday and Wednesday from 8 until 10 p.m. both days. And then I still have two process books that I haven't finished. I have to print them today by five. It's already like three right now and I have to paint this. And then I have to fit, um, I have to turn in my connection cards by four. So I don't know how I'm gonna do all that. Um, many other things. <laughs> so you more excited or more nervous? Uh, I was more nervous yesterday, but today I'm more excited because it's like nearer. Yeah, it's definitely closer to the finish line. <laughs> so I put up my shelves this morning. Um, I still have my IKEA table and my two stools and then I need to mount something to the top of the wall over there to hang plants. And do you intend to finish today? I hope so. If not, I have tomorrow all day too. But I really want to finish today because tomorrow I'd rather like take my time and like put up my mock-ups and just in case there are any mess-ups, you know, I can mm -hmm. make up for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're about to graduate this Sunday. What are your expectations? I... Um, I don't know if I have expectations. I, I mostly, most likely have like hopes, <laughs> like getting a job, someday paying off my loans. <laughs> How much did it cost you to go to school to art? Yeah. One term is like about twenty thousand, and then it raises a bit every year. So every fall it raises a bit. Your parents have expectations of you. Yeah, they want me to get a job, and then my dad is really happy. He doesn't have to pay for tuition anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we have loans, but he also pays a little bit out of pocket, so it's been crazy. He's been like working over hours and all that stuff. And like on weekends, dad? yeah. What does your dad do? He's a mailman. And so he your like, dad... pays for all the house stuff, like everything, so it's been crazy for him. He's just like cranking as much as I am. So he makes a lot of sacrifices for you. Definitely. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode. I really wanted to share Vaughn's story as she pursued the challenges and the risks that she was taking in pursuing her higher education at Art Center. Uh, the reason why I wanted to share her story is because I think a lot of us sort of have those same fears and self-doubt about what's gonna happen in the future. Um, should we take those chances? Should we take the sacrifices and the risks that are involved in that? 
And I honestly believe that as long as you believe in what you're doing and you follow the process, that something positive, opportunities will arise from your efforts. So take that as life lesson. Don't let fear or fear of the unknown sort of paralyze you and your ability to make decisions that I think can really impact your life. So hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'd love for you to continue watching our channel and just hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit like if you like this episode. Um, as always, life is better when you do good work. Um, now that I've graduated, um, looking back, it was very difficult. Um, it's probably been the most difficult, but best four years of my life. I've learned so much. I've made so many friends and connections. Um, it's definitely something I won't forget. So after the grad show, I got a stack of business cards and from those business cards, I reached out, um, sent emails saying thank you for coming. And from those emails, I actually got a few interviews. And out of those interviews, I've gotten uh, one offer uh, to be a freelance designer for them for two weeks and hopefully um, become a full-time thing in the future. Hey guys, I'm here and today is my first day. I'm super excited. Here we go.